Or like, you know, decaying. It smells like more like their ass. You want to smell it? You want to smell it? See if you want to acquire this one for your collection. Sniff it up. Smell is about life, is about being alive, and without breathing, uh, we're definitely not alive. And every breath we do, we inhale smell molecules. Um, uh, information that, uh, that, that we can have through smell, and that is... Every breath contains up to 26 sextillion smell molecules. We move 12,7 cubic meter air with our breathing. We breathe up to 24,000 times a day. And all the information provided through smell end up in our subconsciousness. Even when we sleep, we smell. Wow, I love who I am. So this is literally taking you into the way I do field work. Yeah? The way I search for smell out there. Yeah? You want to act. Yeah? Uh, smell hasn't played a direct role in my work, except uh, for in my collaboration with Sissel, of course. Uh, but I think because I have been looking into interspecies symbiosis, interspecies communication and, and ways of sensing the world beyond language, uh, I have found that actually uh, smell plays a huge role. Um, in this and, and I would like to explore it further. What I take away from it is, as far as an, an, an approach is, is more of sort of uh, self or exploration of sort of paying attention to the, the sensory process and, and, and sort of what's going on in that moment as you're experiencing uh, the smells. So in my professional scientific work, it tends to be more analytical, right? It's trying to derive an actual analytical understanding or, or, and see what's actually going on with the phenomenon in, in a factual way. Actually, the whole the, the fragrances in that environment, the the textures of the environment, and how you step and walk, and the noises that makes, and as you walk, the fragrance that are released. Um, and then in the middle of all these, this minuscule, beautiful plants um, that have all these mechanisms that I'm sure involve not just smell, because I think the smell is clear, that it's um, an attractant, but also the, the, the viscosity of these little droplets that they have around. It's a landscape that I've never experienced before, being on this mossy moss carpet uh, that was constantly undulating as you moved on it. Uh, it was giving me constant feedback from, from moving on it. But what was also fascinating there is when you smelt the moss and you smelt the water coming up, it smelt like the moss smelt like seaweed and the water smelt like the sea. Uh, so, in a way, I was transported to different landscapes within the landscape. Wow. Starke, ähm, sind formale 
Empfindungen zu, wie sich, die, wie sich der Geruch aufbaut, ob der stabil ist, ob er kippt, also solche Sachen wie Säure irgendwie, das, das fühlt sich im Grunde eigentlich an wie ein, wie ein instabiles, kippendes System. Uh, one very important and uh, interesting observation was an injured Tupi number plant, which, and the location of the injury, had a very particular smell. The important revelation of this observation has been uh, that smell um, information can attract uh, very particular groups within species. So it's literally very precise information that is relevant to some and relevant to others. And to interact with this particular situation, we placed a molecule on that smell source in order to identify how would particular species react. And as a result, we could actually see that um, all of the species that interacted with this particular um, smell in some way changed their behavior completely. So to become part of that, let's call it conversation over smell um, uh, molecules has been quite an astonishing observation. The reason why I dedicate myself to, to the topic of smell is exactly because of that. The invisible particle that surrounded me from very early on in my life disturbed me. It's like, what is all this masses of nothingness? It must be more than just a substance that is not tangible. All of the exercises that we've been doing, in some way, you can interpret them as ways to attune our own perception to the observation of nature um, and how complex that process is and how difficult it is as like urban dwellers to kind of slow down and find these bridges towards approaching something as vast, something as unusual and foreign to urban living people now as, as so-called nature. taking that time to actually practice my innate human abilities, all of these things that are actually natural to each and every one of us, whichever abilities we have or do not have, but actually practicing those and um, refining them and heightening them in order to be able to interact more fully um, with your natural environment and with any environment ultimately. The most clear sensory experience that I had was that there were two different kinds of wet. And it doesn't sound like a lot. Because those two types of wet I didn't access through touch. I didn't access through, uh, I didn't hear, you know, uh, two different kinds of water moving, for example. I didn't see two different kinds of wet. I, um, and that's the key distinction here, is I smelled, I was able to distinguish by smell these two different wet qualities. We are equipped with this amazing interfaces called the senses that are there for the purpose of understanding and be used to navigate and understand the world. In the early stage of life, we explore the world using all our senses, and the senses are hyper alert. Yeah, we hear sounds we never heard later. We smell and taste components we never ever will do later in life. So taking those moments seriously and use it and transform it into substantial curriculum, not only in school, but institution, as humans, in every aspect of what we do, you know, implementing their senses in all aspects. Because why are they there if we don't use it? Otherwise, we soon will have nothing at all and technology will take over where we fail. 
reflected on what happening when I breathe something, how immediate it, it triggered my emotions, and how immediately it stayed in my memory, and how efficient that memory became for the rest of my life. So the way smell works is the first time you smell something, that is the reference till you die. Mm -hmm.